some Charleston County teachers say they're upset returning to work after this high contact holiday season. This is Katie Turner heard from parents, teachers and the district joins us live from CCSD headquarters. Katie, CCSD, the only district in our area that didn't go virtual after winter break. That's right, Brendan. A lot of school districts are wary of holiday travel and they want to keep an eye on the numbers before they let students return. But CCSD officials say in person learning is the best way to start this new year. As thousands of students return to the classroom, teachers and parents say they've been kept in the dark. It's really been quite shameful. I think that there is a huge lack of transparency. Concern beyond the rising number of COVID-19 cases. One teacher speaking on behalf of her colleagues says they were unaware that parents could keep their student at home as a safety precaution this week. We didn't know anything about that until the public knew as well. She wishes teachers had the same opportunity. So that is disheartening um, because not being part of the conversation in that decision making. And today on the first day of class, she says she knows elementary school teachers who saw dozens of empty chairs. It, it's it's difficult. It wears on you. Some low country parents say they're just as concerned for educators as they are for their students. My heart really goes out to these teachers who are working so hard. Many of them have children in the school system, and I really do feel that it's being completely overlooked. CCSD says they are confident they have taken every precaution possible to keep students safe. And then when we compare to what we have in our schools and the protocols we have in place, I would argue that school is actually a safer place to be. Still, parents and teachers are hoping changes are on the way. We can't educate um, these students um, to the best of our abilities if our health and safety is a concern. Many other districts, including DD2 and Berkeley County, are going to be fully virtual until mid-January. For now, live in downtown Charleston, I'm Katie Turner. Count on two.